Christ is coming. At the beginning of the movie, the Reverend comes to meet Father Abraham after many years. Reverend informs him that something truly terrible is on the horizon, and evil like this world has never seen before. He gets up and says that their Lord teaches them that violence is never the answer, but the time has come that even the most holiest of saints must become executioners. They then perform some ritual, and the Reverend tells Abraham that they will provide him with the means to defeat the coming darkness, and he will not be alone as he walks through the dark valley. He then asks him if he is willing to join them in this fight. Abraham accepts, and the Reverend prays to God to give Abraham the power to be his sword and administer his justice. Abraham leaves the city to battle evil, and the movie shifts many years ahead, where we see Abraham in the woods setting up traps. Suddenly, he feels some movement in the nearby bushes, due to which Abraham becomes alert and points the gun in that direction. But his dog comes out from there. Later, we see that Abraham is now living in a remote farm, where a guy named Thomas visits him, who has brought him what he needs. Thomas asks him, how are things today? To which Abraham says, not much different from other days. Abraham thanks him, to which Thomas says it's the least he can do to show their gratitude for all he has done for their community. Thomas then notices a closed door there, and Abraham tells him that it goes to the back of the house and hasn't been opened since the darkness. They then come out of the house, where Abraham tells him that he got wood to chop and instructs him to keep an eye on her, and here Abraham's daughter, Sarah, is revealed. Later that night, Thomas tells Abraham that he gave Sarah something to sleep and he asks his permission to leave. However, Abraham tells him that he is not going anywhere. Following this, we see them having supper, and Thomas comments that he has not eaten that well since before the darkness. Abraham notices a necklace on Sarah's neck, and Thomas tells him that when he was at the general store this morning, he got it for her, but Abraham says he should not have. Thomas comments on how Sarah is increasingly resembling the missus, Abraham asks for clarification, and Thomas explains that while looking at a photograph near the gramophone earlier, he noticed Sarah is a striking resemblance to his wife. Abraham gets furious and says that Sarah doesn't look a thing like her, and that Sarah never would have abandoned him. He then tells Thomas that the rain has stopped, so it's time for him to leave. After this, the movie shifts to the past where Abraham looks quite worried because his wife is delivering the child inside. Hearing her screams, Abraham goes inside where he learns that his child was born dead. Abraham is very sad about this, but suddenly, his child comes alive and starts crying. However, the doctor tells him that his daughter shall live, but she will be nothing but a cripple. Mary, the doctor, and the nurse begin repeating the same thing, and seeing their demonic eyes, Abraham rushes out of that room with Sarah. The three of them also come out repeating nothing but a cripple and begin moving towards him. And as he screams in fear, the scene transitions to the present. Abraham hears his dog barking and comes out to investigate. And then he sets out with him towards the forest. Now, after going deep into the forest, his dog runs towards something. And Abraham gets terrified seeing a demonic creature behind bushes feeding on something but the next moment, the creature disappears from there. The next day, Thomas visits him again and apologizes for his behavior last night. And when he asks him about his dog, Abraham says he probably ran after a hare into the woods somewhere. He says he is going to look for him and asks him to look after Sarah for him. Abraham goes into the woods, where he finds his dog's collar chain. And meanwhile, Thomas notices that Sarah is bit scared and showing concern for her. He says one day, he is going to take her far away from all this. Just then, Abraham returns, and he angrily tells Thomas to get out of his house. He brings him out and throws him on the ground, and when Thomas asks him what's wrong with him, Abraham tells him to get out of there and not ever come back. He then goes to chop the wood, and during this, we are shown some flashbacks in which Abraham is performing an exorcism on someone, and his ex also has a role in it. Later, he goes to Sarah's room and tells her that he is going out to check on the traps before dark falls. But Sarah is angry with him and remains silent. 
In the woods, Abraham discovers blood on one of the traps. As he moves ahead, he notices blood dripping from a tree branch. Suddenly, the demonic creature attacks him, causing him to fall. However, Abraham manages to shoot the creature before it can harm him. Abraham places the creature's body in a sack, and after reading a prayer from a book, he throws his torch onto the sack, setting it on fire. As he returns, he hears strange noises that frighten him, prompting him to rush into his house. He attempts to open Sarah's room, but finds it locked, and Sarah appears terrified inside. Abraham breaks open the door and tries to leave the place with Sarah, but a sound stops him, prompting him to run into a room. He tells Sarah that she will be safe here, after which he comes out with his gun. He moves towards where the sounds are coming from, but when he reaches there, he sees only rats there, which makes him relax a bit. However, as he starts leaving from there, he gets terrified seeing multiple entities outside his house peeping inside. So he picks up a stone and throws it in the other direction, due to which the entities get distracted and leave from there. Abraham rushes to the basement of his house, where suddenly a creature attacks him, but he manages to escape and enter his house. He then blocks the door with a pipe and the creature begins attempting to break in. Abraham stands at the door with his gun pointed, but after some time, everything becomes quiet. The next day, Abraham comes out of the house to investigate but he finds no one there. After this, he brings Sarah back to her room and asks her if she is all right. Sarah says yes, and then Abraham tells her that they are unsafe up here, so tonight they will sleep downstairs again. He also finds Mary's book there, but before he can open it, someone knocks at the door. Abraham tells Thomas that he told him to never show his face again, to which Thomas asks him what's going on. Abraham asks him to get out of there, but Thomas hits him and tries to force his way in, but Abraham angrily forces him to flee at gunpoint. Later, Abraham decides to battle the evil and begins his preparation by setting traps around his house. He then makes a crucifix and talks to God saying it's been a long time since the two of them have had a face to face. He says now, all of this is God's will and he will humbly accept it as so, but help him to see what he has done wrong to him and he asks God to give him a sign. Initially, when nothing happens, he starts to leave, but suddenly the crucifix automatically catches fire. Abraham rushes inside his house and checks the book, and in it, he finds the picture of a burning crucifix. He then prepares water and asks God to bless it, and then he sprinkles that water around his house. After this, we are shown a flashback, probably a scene after darkness, where a girl thanks Abraham for rescuing her father's soul from the dark shadows. Abraham tells her that it was the will of God she saw, as he chose to be gracious with her father that day. After this, a man clicks Abraham's family photo, and this is the same photo that Thomas had seen that day. We then see Abraham giving something to drink to Sarah, and he apologizes, saying that she has to understand that she is the most precious thing he has. However, Sarah appears angry with him, so Abraham leaves the room. The next day, Abraham cooks Sarah's favorite lunch, and he tells her that he thinks what happened was no accident, but God's intent to test their faith. He believes that God wanted to punish them for what they have done and put them on their path to repentance. Shockingly, she asks him if he repented and Abraham, in shock, watches her as she leaves the room. After this, we are shown another flashback, where Abraham sees Mary performing a ritual on Sarah, and he turns away in shock and anger. Later, Mary goes to him and asks him what is going on, to which he says there are truths they now need to speak. He asks her if he ever told her how it came to be, that he dedicated his life to the Lord. It all began when he was a small boy. His father would lock him up in the cellar and force him to memorize the whole Bible. One day, he forgot a paragraph, and his father beat him so hard that he was in bed the whole week after. Through all that, he never hated his father. He told him that demons are always waiting, and he lived with a demon for all these years, slept with it, and loved it with all his heart. She tells him that she doesn't follow him, to which he asks her to be quiet, and says he saw what she was doing to their daughter in her room. She tries to explain to him that she was only trying to cure her, 
but he moves towards her and asks her to admit her sins. He then tries to strangle her, saying there is nothing worse than a witch, but she manages to hit him and run away from there. Abraham follows her into a room with the axe he still uses to chop the wood, kills her with it, and then buries her in the backyard, with Sarah witnessing the act. Back in the present, Abraham comes out of the house upon hearing some noise, and soon realizes that the entities are around. He rushes back into his house, checks the book, and learns that the ritual will not work. Just then, he hears a sound and comes out of the room to investigate, only to find that there are no bullets in his rifle. He spots his axe nearby, quickly picks it up, and when the creature approaches him, he attacks it with his axe, only to be shocked to find that it is Thomas who dies there. He then hears sounds from upstairs and concerned for Sarah. He rushes to her room, only to see that Sarah is performing a ritual and reading spells from Mary's book. Sarah turns towards him, revealed to be possessed, prompting Abraham to point his rifle at her, saying she is a witch like her mother. Just then, a creature attacks him from behind, but Abraham manages to shoot and kill it. However, another creature grabs him and begins dragging him away. Abraham shoots and kills this one too, but then he sees a third creature moving towards him. It attacks him, but Abraham takes out a knife from his pocket and kills that creature as well. He then comes out of the house to calm himself, only to find a more powerful creature waiting outside for him. The creature attacks Abraham and starts beating him badly, but Abraham somehow saves himself and escapes into a garage. Abraham starts his car, and as the creature opens the door, Abraham runs his car over him. After this, he pours gasoline on that creature and sets it on fire, destroying it. He then returns to his room to check the book and discovers that the ritual won't work if the curse is invoked by a blood relative. Now Abraham, who was badly injured, retreats to the storeroom, and Sarah, wielding his axe, approaches him. She tosses Mary's book to him and asks if he recognizes it, revealing it as the only memory she has left of her mother. She explains that all Mary's teachings and the perfect recipe for his death are in there and she only needed a bit of his blood to complete the curse. Abraham starts praying, but she questions whether he truly believes his faith can save him from this. She then tells him that the potion he gave her last night offered more hope than that silly cross. Seizing his knife from the floor, she accuses him of stealing her mother's love and taking away the only friend she had in the world. But now it's turned to put an end to his miserable life. She makes a cut on the ax, and as she raises it to strike Abraham, he apologizes to her, but she goes through with the act, screaming wildly after killing him. Following this, a scene from the past is presented where Abraham confides in Mary about a troubling dream. He struggles to recall many details, but mentions a vision of the two of them, along with their daughter, being attacked by strange creatures at home. Mary advises him to stop reading whatever has been disturbing him, during the conversation, Mary shares that their baby is kicking more than usual, indicating it's almost time, and they should start considering names. Abraham suggests the name Sarah, which she likes, and then we see that they are moving into their new remote farm. In the present, we observe Sarah heading towards the forest, and mysteriously, her dog also returns. The camera pans upward, revealing ominous dark clouds in the sky bringing the movie to an end. Thanks for facing the frights with us. If you survived this video, drop a like, summon that subscribe button, and brace yourself for more horror. Until next time, stay spooked.